what's happening there YouTube? It's Brian House here for Housework and we are continuing on with the bench angle grinder stand with articulating work rest prototype build. This is video number three in the series so if you haven't watched the previous two I'll put a link down in the description so you can find that playlist. Today our goal is to actually build this thing. I know it's video number three but honestly I just couldn't wait. I'm excited about this as I can tell many of you are by reading your comments and I just want to reach out to you guys and tell you how amazing and overwhelming it is to read such great ideas you all are coming up with. And I really do appreciate those ideas and I've tried to incorporate as many as I felt were, were possible to incorporate in this. One of which being that this could actually be a small table saw if you add a cutoff wheel to it. I love that concept and I think I'm going to go ahead and draw that up in SketchUp. Also, my dad's suggestion of the RO, a lot of you have commented in uh, about that and said how genius that idea is. And it's, he's right. It is genius. You all are right about that. I think that uh, adding a, a, a random orbital to this actually would change this completely. However, the original idea I do not want to deviate from because what this, the concept of this thing really is, is to create an angle grinder that will actually chew through some steel to sort of supplement, maybe do some smaller things that you can't do with the 2x72. So I'm going to continue on with the angle grinder portion of it. However, I think that this will make a great foundation for the RO project where we might be able to create uh, a 90 degree RO that runs similar to this where you could push up against it but then also turn it flat and then have a surface where it sits flush and you'd be able to work uh, right up against that flush piece uh, on your work rest as well. So again that might be a whole nother build. This gives me tons of ideas and a lot of amazing uh, concepts are coming to me in this process so I do appreciate it. Just so you know, uh, I have already cut all of the tube steel that is necessary for this and some of the plate steel. I've got the base drilled out. It's been soaked in uh, vinegar so to get off the mill scale. I have the, uh, the quarter inch plate work rest here. I still need to notch out for the grinding wheel itself. Uh, but this morning I sat down with a cup of coffee and a piece, a scrap piece of 3 8 inch steel or 0.375 steel and drew out all the tabs and some of the uh, articulating um, uh, tabs that'll go up underneath the work rest itself. Uh, this is literally all the steel you need for this. It's to create the, uh, the spacers and everything on the, on the grinder itself. And uh, hopefully this is it. This is all I need. So I just need to cut this out so we can actually start welding this thing together and hopefully make a test run.
Okay, so this is the first test with the motor controller and I've just got it clamped down to my workbench and we're gonna try to see what the vibrational situation is with this thing. So first time turning it on, I'm excited. I think it's gonna go pretty well, but you never know. I'm gonna put it on variable on the lowest speed. I'd say that went pretty well. It didn't seem to vibrate too much. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna continue on with fabricating the work rest. We're getting close. So right off the bat, I am super impressed with this build. I am excited to see what I'll be able to do with it in the future. And then also the modifications we can make, like making it a little table saw, adding an RO to it. There's all kinds of things that will be coming in the future, I think, with this build for $40 for the grinder and about $10 in accessories plus a little bit of scrap steel. And I thought I would come in sub $100, but it turns out that I came in sub $75 on this particular build, which is an amazing feat for something as powerful and useful as this. In fact, I foresee these being built by you all and many others and having them in their home workshops. A couple of thoughts on the build. I did manage to put a stop in at the zero degree, so uh, right at uh, 90 degrees off the pad, I have 
a, a stop that will actually stop the work rest, but I did not install a 45 degree stop because once I had the zero in place, I realized I may not wanna do a 45. I may wanna do a 33 and a half or whatever, a 20 degree, I don't know. You never know what you're gonna to wanna to do with it, so I didn't wanna mess around with it too much. I wanted to have that flexibility. Plus, it's just easier not to do it, right? So, uh, but uh, also, the as you saw, the seven inch flap disc worked really well. I would highly recommend that DeWalt seven inch flap disc. That steel you saw in that demonstration was three eighths of an inch thick or 0.375 inches. And so you saw how quickly it chewed through that. And uh, wow, amazing. The real winner here though is that five inch soft back hook and loop little attachment that came from Harbor Freight. That thing allowed me to use my regular standard hook and loop backer uh, sanding discs that are five inches. And this is a 60 grit pad and uh, or a 60 grit sanding disc and it hasn't even hardly made a dent in it. All that grinding I did plus the grinding I did on the test before I even turned the camera on, that thing hasn't even been touched and that's just a, an aluminum oxide disc. It's nothing special. It's not like ceramic or anything. So I really am impressed with its flexibility and all the different things that we're gonna be able to do with this. So far, so good with the electronics. I wasn't really sure how long that little uh, SCR motor controller would work. And as of right now, it's worked pretty well, but you know, who knows, that thing could pop. I'll put links down in the description so you can buy one yourself if you wanna try it. And I'll keep you guys updated on whether or not that thing lasted or, or if it just blew up. I did really like the feature of being able to turn the RPMs down on it. Uh, although I will say at a high speed RPM, it's really at its peak performance. I mean, that thing just really ate through some steel, but I could see a reason for slowing it down if you wanted to. Also, I was really impressed with how I was able to use the entire width of the sanding disc. Uh, the flap wheel, you can't go on the, on the right side, the far right side at all, because it's the flap wheel geometry would grab and throw your piece. But the actual five inch sanding discs allowed for you to run your piece all the way across. Now you did have to put a lot of down pressure to keep that piece in place, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, it worked really, really great. So again, a lot of positives, a lot of really cool things are going to come from this, I think, and it's going to be a fantastic addition to my workshop. Now, if you want to build one of your own, I will provide some dimensions. I mean, it's a fairly simple build. Uh, I will also maybe in the future to put some plans together for this thing and you guys can go on my website and download them. I, I don't know for sure. Uh, if I'm gonna do that, I'm a little burnt out from the two by 72 project, but uh, to be honest with you, I think this is something that everyone should have, and it was super inexpensive to build, which is really exciting. So yeah, guys, super awesome success. Thank you to everyone who commented, wrote in, and gave me their suggestions on some changes and how to simplify things. I truly appreciate you, thank you so much. As always, there are links down in the description that will take you to my Amazon store and my Patreon page, and those are ways to support my channel. There's multiple ways in that description box where you can go down and support my channel, and I would truly appreciate it if you did that. Also, I have a Teespring store where you can buy cool housework merch. You can get yourself a hoodie or a t-shirt, and the link is right below this video. Thanks for watching guys, I truly appreciate you. I hope you build your own and if you do, make sure you send me a picture at my email, brian at housework.us, I would love to see your builds. Also tag me on Instagram, uh, you can find my Instagram down below, there's a link there and uh, go on there and tag me so I can see the work that you're doing or at least just send me an email, I'd love to see what you're up to. Thanks for watching guys, my name is Brian House and this has been Housework. Mm -hmm.